And now uh, using the place indicator, we're going to do the uh, place object the, on top of the uh, place indicator. For that, uh, let's create the uh, empty object. I want to call it as a place manager and make sure it is the transform is reset. And let's create the C sharp script place manager. So this time, uh, we're not going to use AR script. Uh, I'm sorry, AR raycast because AR raycast is already happening inside of the place indicator. So in here, what we need to do is just finding the place indicator's location and then using that location to instantiate object. So to do that, first let's find the our indicator place indicator. Oh. The reason why there is an error is because of the place indicator script uh, I, I misspelled. So here we need to change it as a place indicator and then open the script. Don't forget to change the name of the class indicator. And let's save this one. If you go back to place manager, now is uh, there is no error. So here I just call it as a place indicator. And then we need to have the uh, object to place. So public game object. And again, object to place. And then at the start, we need to find the, uh, with what is our place indicator. So place indicator is going to be find object of the type with place indicator. So now it's automatically detect the place indicator, the script, and then it's going to attach the place indicator as our place indicator inside of this scene. Void update, we're going to delete this update and let's create public void. Let's say click to place. Oops. For later, we're going to create the private game object, which is new placed object, new placed object, and new placed object is going to be instantiate object to place at the location of place indicator place indicators transform that position and then the angle the rotation is going to be place indicators transforms rotation at the to the place manager let's attach place manager script to here and we want to have object to place so we're going to create Again, this time maybe we can create a sphere. Well, the let's use the blue color this time. And then the size of the size of the square is going to be around 20 centimeters. And as you can see, like is kind of underneath of the ground. So to make it to the on top of the ground, I will create new object and then make sure I reset the transform I'll put sphere inside of this new object I'm going to make change the position as 0.1 so now it's on top of the ground as you can see from the uh, game view so let's make it to the prefab and then delete it from the hierarchy go to the place manager attach your new object to object to place so after place the place manager, uh, do you remember that the, uh, in our script, we create the void as a click to place. So we need a button to click the place. So let's create the button. Select the size of your device. And then let's see the 2D view. Let's move our button to kind of the center. I will say the uh, around 180 by 180 in the text. I'll say just 
place and then let's make it a little bit larger and then click the button let's input the function so go to the on click add and we want to add place manger to here and then go to the function let's say click to place now it's already so save the scene player settings uh, make sure you have changed the name and build van run okay after you see the place indicator uh, when you click the place tab you will see every time when you click the place button it's going to uh, instantiate the sphere on the location of place indicator.